you are looking at my computer. You may be wondering why. Well, the other day, my power supply, which is down here, just a bit out of frame, so I'll just uh, turn the camera around and zoom it in a bit. My power supply is here. It's a Corsair CS650M. And the other day, that power supply made a really weird noise, like a, a bad noise, as if something had gone wrong. And ever since that noise happened, I've been getting pop-ups on my computer from the AI Suite software saying my CPU's like at a high voltage. So far, I haven't had a system crash, but... Uh, yeah, I originally built this computer in 2012 uh, with the same specifications that it's got now except the graphics card, which is the only thing I've upgraded between 2012 and today, which is 2016. Uh, so that's basically been three years since I built this computer <clears throat> and that power supply has gone, well, I don't know if it has gone, but it definitely made a weird noise the other day. It hasn't made that noise since, if I'm honest. The noise sounded like the bearings in the fan were a bit off balance and like they were causing like vibrations. Uh, but yeah, ever since that noise, I've been getting pop-ups from the AI Suite software. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the power supply out and have a look at it, make sure everything's okay. Here we are with the box, so now let's open it up. Oh, what does that say? Corsair guarantee for three years. I'm guessing it's a three year warranty then. Yes, I know all of the bags and stuff, I've took them all out. So, uh, warranty guide, this is what we need. Oh God. All right, so it's a three year warranty. So if I go and find the purchase date of this component, then I'll be able to find out whether it's still within that warranty or not. Okay, I have the receipt for the power supply and I purchased it on the 9th of January 2014. Uh, so that means that the warranty is still valid so if I do take it out of the computer I will not be dismantling it in order to try and diagnose the issue I shall simply just be well cleaning the exterior of it and trying to clean as much of the interior of it as I can without actually taking the thing apart. Now while my computer has had many cleans over the years I haven't actually taken the power supply out and given that a like a fully good clean since I built it. I don't know why I didn't just think to pick up the camera and record myself speaking to it because I just had it pointed at the box. I can hear scratching. What does that mean? Hello George. George came and jumped on me at like quarter to seven this morning. He's got a habit of doing that. He's like the living alarm clock, can't you? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to well, get my computer out and start, well, remove the power supply. Now, I do believe with the way I've cable managed the system that even though the power supply is semi-modular, those cables that I cannot remove are not cable tied in, therefore I should be able to just pull the power supply out once I have took all of the cables out of it that are modular. If you know what I mean. And if you don't, well, I'll show you. Yes, I have already taken the sides off. Right, so what I mean is, like, as you... You, you can't really see that very well. But anyway, this, these cables at the end here, you cannot remove them from the power supply. All of the other ones, however, you can remove. And the way I've cable managed it is that these two cables here... I am just able to pull them straight out without them getting tangled up in everything. So let me start by unplugging all of my modular cables, which is just those. Now what I can do is I can, where is it, there it is, take the motherboard power out like that, put that through the back like that. So now as you can see this motherboard one just got pulled straight out. And then the other one is this one up here, which is the CPU power. So 
Just need to like get that out there like that. And now I should just be able to pull both of these through like that. See, not a problem. I like the way I cable manage this system. And now what I'm going to do is unscrew the power supply and take the power supply out once I've got a screwdriver. Right, I've got my favourite screwdriver that seems to fit every screw known in the history of the universe. Here's a zoom you out a bit, and now I can just remove the power supply like that. Oh, that is quite dusty. I know you're not supposed to use the hoover on computer components, but quite honestly, I can't see any other way that I can get the dust out of there because I don't have an air compressor. I do have a, a one of these like air pump things. Now, wherever I put it? One of these things, it just like puts out air. Like that. I aimed it at the microphone. So, in theory, if I go like that, then can you see all that dust that's just floating out? Ugh. So, yeah, I'm going to go and get the hoover and then I'll, like, blow it out with that air thing. And I'll have the hoover. Let's put on this attachment and let's start cleaning. I don't know what you think about this, but I'm going to take the top grill off. You may be saying, why? Well, if you look at the screws and like look at the way it's designed, it looks like it's designed so that people will be able to take it off and clean the inside of it. And I don't think any warranty will be void because you will only void the warranty if that seal is broken, which as you can see, it's not. And there's no like void warranty if broken stickers anywhere on this grill that I can see. Therefore, I think you will be able to take it off and clean it, which would make sense. As it is like a high-end power supply. Well, it's only 650 watts, but it's like a like certified gold plus or whatever they call it. I forgot what it is. Uh, it might be on here somewhere. But uh, yeah, it's a basically a high performance power supply like not for a word, word processing computer more for like a gaming computer uh, and therefore taking these screws off in order to clean it would make perfect sense as well it's a high performance part and it would get dusty over time obviously and yep this is just coming out very nicely Right, oh, yeah, so now what I'm going to do, I'll probably do it off camera, but I'm going to go and like clean it all out and stuff. So now I've decided I will record it. In case you wonder what I'm doing, I'm holding it, I'm holding it like that, so as you can see, it doesn't actually touch the power supply, therefore it can't damage anything. Right, there we go, there is 
if I take you off then as we can see in there it is all nice and clean now no dust no nothing all nice and clean as though it was brand new then what's that that bit there and then there's just well these ports here which are well they weren't really dirty to begin with because well they had stuff plugged into them didn't they so dust couldn't really form so yeah there's the power supply all nice and clean now so next time you will see it I will be screwing that thing back onto it oh which way does it go I need to look at the recording does the Corsair go that way I'm back and I've reviewed the footage and the Corsair logo faces that way like the Corsair logo faces that like thick bit there and yes there is uh, still a mark on the logo so I'm going to go and rinse that off with a damp cloth there we go, now as you can see the logo is nice and clean. There we go, let's put this back on now. In real, oh, I knocked the camera. In realign the holes, oh dear. Right, so there's that hole realigned. There's that hole realigned, right, that should be good. I just need to put the bracket on there like that. Start with this hole. Spin it backwards until you hear it click that means it is in the previously like screwed in path as it's plastic you don't want to just screw it in as you could uh, rip the threads therefore like that you see if you turn it backwards until it clicks like that that's when it's set into like the previously made mark and then you can just screw it in don't want to do it too tight because as I said they are plastic and it will rip the threads. There we go, there's the power supply nicely cleaned out, all put back together and ready to be reinstalled into the computer. So I'm going to do that. And while I'm here, I think I'll give that bit a clean as that's where the power supply has been sitting and as you can see, oh it's very dusty. Where's that cloth? You know what, I might actually just take the entire computer outside. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I won't take the camera with me this time. Oh, it wasn't recording. Basically what I did is I decided I would clean it in here. So what I did was got the brush to loosen the dust off and I was hoovering it up with the hoover at the same time. Well, the doorbell was ringing and what has arrived is my fan. So yeah, that's what the doorbell was ringing for. My fans arrived. So now, sometime today, I need to get around to recording an uh, unboxing of this. Now, why have I got a fan? Well, simple. The past few days have been the hottest days recorded this year. And I was like, it's too hot, so I ordered this fan. It was on offer, only cost £9.88. So yeah, I've got me a fan. And then once I've tidied up a bit, I can just sit it there. And then I can like sit and work here, just have that blowing air at me as it's uh, hot outside. But before I get around to unboxing the fan, I shall continue putting my power supply back in my computer. My anti-bug mug and now my power supply which just simply sits in there like that. Let's just uh, zoom you in a tiny bit. Uh, I'm going to get one of these end screws in first, just to stop it from pulling on the cables. Oh. One screw in. Now I, I can't fit them all in, because I've actually screwed the wrong screw in the wrong hole. Well it's a correct screw, but it's a wrong hole. What hole it should actually be in is, should actually be there, because that way all the other screws are aligned also. Yeah, the time of recording this video is the 22nd of July 2016 and uh, it said my fan wasn't even ready for, like I wasn't going to get it until the 26th which is next Tuesday I believe. 
But now I've got it today, so it arrived early. Actual, the Royal Mail, which is like the UK's mail system, is actually working properly. Because usually it's like extremely late. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my power supply, uh, not put it back in because I've already done that, but rewire all of my power supply and then I will get on with the unboxing of that video. Are they both six pins? Which one shall I plug them in? Guess I'll just put them in that one there and that one. Oh, sorry, you can't see this. Well, you won't be able to see it anyway. Because I can hardly. Where's my phone? And just plug that one in there like that. And now I need the GPU plugged in there. So now I need to put these cables, which is the motherboard and CPU power, through the bottom. Like that. So now what I need to do is move the camera back, turn it up a bit, turn the computer around. First of all, I'll do the motherboard power, so I want it going behind those cables and up through the top rubber grommet, which is there. So that one just goes in there like that. And now with the CPU power, simple. All I need to do is just plug that back into there like that. All right, there's a CPU, now has power, and now what I need to do, again, is turn my computer around and plug in the motherboard power to it, so... Now, you can't really see that, so let me just remove this USB 3 for now. And now you can see the motherboard power, which is there. So I'm pushing on the back of the hard drive bay, because... Sorry, back of the motherboard tray, so that when I push it in, it won't flex the motherboard too much, therefore not damaging it. And now I can plug my USB 3 back in, which just plugs in. Oh yeah, yep, just plugs in there like that. So there is my power supply cleaned out and put back in. Now these cables do look a bit messy down here. I'm sure they weren't like that before, but never mind. If the sides fit on the case, then everything's good. So now what I'm going to do is get that out of the way. Put the computer, oh, just help me put it down the correct way. Like half back on there because I want to reach the side to put the side panels back on. I'm going to get my anti-bug mug coaster again. There we go. The side with the DIY frosted window is the side in which you can see all the components. So I just put that on there like that. This bottom screw is always a nightmare, there we go, to get in. And now you should be able to see me put the other side on, not a problem. Make sure that all the cables are inside the case and won't get trapped. Like that. And now I shall just screw the top one in and screw the bottom one in. Now I'll move the computer back a little bit and now I'll plug all the cables back in. So, oh, where do we begin? Let's begin with the... Alright, so that one is the VGA one, so that one can go down there. Alright, so the keyboard goes in that one there and the mouse goes in that one there. And then finally, speakers, otherwise known as headset, just... Now we'll go down there. It just plugs in there like that. Green in the green, pink in the pink, and we are all good. Right. Now let me turn the mains power back on. Push the computer back. And now let's see if it boots up. Yes, I have one of these. Oh, I always do that. Where is it? Yes, I have one of these tiny, tiny USB ultra fit things, and this is a 32 gigabyte version, as you can see there. USB 3 as well. Believe it or not, this is my first ever USB 3 drive. Anyway, let's get on with turning the computer on. Right, so that powers on. One post beep on my motherboard, that means everything's fine. And yes, it's booted up like normal, not a problem. So I'm guessing that works, and now what I'm going to do is 
well put my drives back in the front as they are missing well I can just put that back in there for now and then we have my YouTube archive goes in the top and then my other hard drive goes in the bottom like that uh, and yes I know the computer's turned off I turned it off and now what I'm going to do is tidy around a bit and get on with the unboxing of my fan which as you can see has arrived hello everyone and I'm back the current time is roughly 24 minutes to 9 at night and I guess that this is it for daily vlog number one uh, I will try and do these more often hopefully every day uh, and this is my first well not my first ever daily vlog but it's like my first daily vlog that I've done in about seven months uh, so yeah there will be a few mistakes in it one mistake that I've already spotted is I focused too much on one activity that was taking place throughout the day that activity was cleaning out my uh, computer's power supply unit so if you look at other like vloggers channels they'll upload like maybe a 15 minute video at the maximum for the entire day my video is more towards 20-25 minutes I can't remember what it's up to at the moment I have edited pretty much all the video except for this clip because I'm recording it now <clears throat> but I already know that my vlog is rather long when compared to other vloggers but anyway there is vlog number one day number one whatever you want to call it vlogged and over with this is the last clip I may sound a little bit different and I may look a little bit different and that is because I'm using my vlogging camera instead of my normal camera because my other camera that I use is just like tidied away there so yes I'm recording using a different camera so what I'm going to try and do tomorrow for the vlog is try and focus a bit on every activity rather than just all on one activity and hopefully in me doing that uh, the vlog will be shorter and more appropriate length because like 25 30 minutes for someone who only has 68 subscribers is I'd say a pretty long vlog so I'm going to try and aim to get these down to like less than 10 minutes a day mainly for the simple reason they're quick they're easy to edit and you can just like edit them really quickly and upload them whereas this video so far I've already put in an hour and 15 an hour and 20 minutes editing time into it already uh, but before I forget about stuff to say I'm going to say that this is it for day one and I still think this part of my room in front of this door has the best lighting especially if you like sort of over near the window so then you've got a bit of natural light as well anyway this is it for daily vlog number one uh, the improvements I would like to make I've already said them so I will try and implement those improvements in tomorrow's vlog so thank you for watching and I shall see you tomorrow is what I'll do. So yeah, that's it for this vlog. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, just a little quick extra thing before I go. Tomorrow I'll hopefully have some like more motivating content, like advice. That's it. And tomorrow I'll hopefully try and fit some advice into the vlog. So yeah, I'll do that. But anyway, I'm I'm going now. That's it. I I've I've finished.